Hey everyone, Thornton here, and today we're going to be talking about buffs and nerfs in the finals. As most of you know, the Heavy class recently received a nerf with the new winter update. That being said, a lot of players are now asking for a light nerf along with an invisibility cloak nerf, and now even the goo gun. So it's going to be a little complicated, and we're going to go over what exactly the community is asking for and what Embark Studios is likely to do to address these concerns. Without further ado, let's jump into the topic. The finals, which is a recent addition to the gaming landscape, has captivated players with its diverse classes, unique abilities, and strategic gameplay. However, as enthusiasts delve into the intricacies of the game, concerns regarding the balance of specific abilities and character classes have become apparent and surfaced. We're gonna go ahead and go into the current state of buffs and nerfs in the final, spotlighting specific in-game features, metagame debates, and the intriguing utility of the goo gun. That is right, it is actually way more powerful than most of you probably realize. Additionally, we're gonna explore the community's feedback on the game's balancing and speculate on potential changes in the future, but let's go ahead and start with the cloaking device controversy. Now, this has become a point of contention within the finals community, revolving around the cloaking device Device, which is a light build skill that grants players near invisibility very important to remember the word near invisibility when moving and complete invisibility though when stationary players express frustration with countering this ability particularly when opponents exploit it strategically which a lot of other players responded to with get good community discussions reflect the call for nerfs with suggestions ranging from increased distortion on the screen which could be an interesting way to fix it to reconsidering the overall competitive viability of the light build class however I will say the heavy class is far more of a terror, at least in my personal experience. Now, some of the concerns that have been voiced so far has one statement saying, most of the time, I don't see them. And the audio being non-existent doesn't help either, as the audio has come under fire just a little bit in the finals. The consensus among players is that the adjustments to the cloaking device are necessary at this point, which does prompt discussions on potential changes and the developer's role in addressing these concerns, as Embark has been very quick to make changes, such as when the heavy class got nerfed in the winter update. However, this is going to be a long-standing issue, because in any competitive multiplayer game, establishing the meta, the optimal loadout or character choice for success, is pretty crucial, especially if this game is going to have an esports future. The finals, however, presents a unique challenge as players grapple with the widely accepted meta so far. Many believe that the heavy class dominates, and they're not wrong, that thing is a freaking beast. A substantial portion of the community argue that light and medium classes are equally viable. I also agree, I play medium, I like healing, that's just me. I'm just that guy. This meta debate does reflect the game's dynamic nature, with players experimenting to determine the most effective strategy for success. That being said, community discussions often get pretty lively. I'm sure you guys know how internet etiquette goes at this point, especially when it comes to video games. And it does showcase the diverse perspectives within the player base. Some argue that light defines movement possibilities, which is what made Apex Legends so popular. Well, heavy shape the map structure, which is once again, you know, tanks. They're fun. You can't really get killed. And it does highlight the nuanced role each class plays in the finals, and I think actually adds a lot to the game's longevity. The more that you can have light players argue against medium players, argue against heavy players, it just creates a really fun discussion. But now let's talk about that unconventional goo gun. Because there are a ton of different weapons that you can find in the finals, and the goo gun, in my opinion, stands out for its unconventional utility. Now see, this thing doesn't do a lot of damage at least, but it does offer very specific strategic advantages, such as creating barriers, blocking pathways, and disorientating opponents. And players, if you are good, have embraced the goo gun, considering it one of the game's strongest weapons, if you have the creative gameplay to use it. The goo gun's unique benefits, such as obstructing pathways or defending payouts, demonstrates its versatility. We don't see a lot of guns like this in other games. Most are damage dealing or area of effect or suppression. This is a suppression weapon that is just really, really fun and ways to build new pathways and move around the map just allow for very creative instances which make every match feel very unique. It has found favor in the community and it offers an alternative play style that complements both defensive and offensive strategies. And it's one of the reasons why I think that even with buffs and nurse for heavy, light, and medium class, the utility of how you use the class is gonna be much more viable than just straight nerfing something. And that goes into players discussing all these changes. It's going to be up to the developers to face the challenge of maintaining a balanced and engaging gameplay experience. There's a ton of uncertainty surrounding whether adjustments will be made to the cloaking device, the meta, or other aspects of the game. There's definitely going to be changes as we see in the future, but I don't know if Embark will respond to every single one, and the invisibility as a light class may make them even more, and the invisibility nerf removed from the light class might make them an even bigger target when you have to go up against a heavy class. Let me know down below. Do you guys think that there should be more buffs and nerfs for the light class or do you think that things are pretty well balanced right now and people are just complaining and also don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor novel who does amazing finals content and gameplay if you guys are looking for the latest tips and tricks and as always thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video